here. I know. I'll make an escape room. We're going to make an escape room. So, in order to do that, you need four things. First thing you want is a story. And it doesn't have to be anything very literary. You don't need to be Arthur Conan Doyle. It could be something as short and sweet as this. Next thing is you want to prepare the questions. So here I have a bunch of questions that I prepared together with my colleague. They were all ready. I put the questions here, the answers here, and I'm ready to copy paste them. Some types of questions are short answer questions. Some types here are matching up, which was a little bit more convoluted and confusing, but I'll show you how to do that. And another one leads to a code. So we're going to start working on it. And this will look like this. This is going to be what your Google form will look like when you finish. If you use my questions, let's get started. You open up your drive and you open up a new Google form. Google form. I'm going to do this on two screens so that you will see exactly how I do it. There we go. I'm working on two screens, split screen. If you don't know how to do that, watch my quickie that will show you how to do it right above. So here are my questions and the title is surviving as a new digital teacher. I'm going to do control C and pop it in here. As soon as I click on untitled form, it will add the title automatically. And this is where I add my story. Just copy it from here. The first question I'm going to add here, I want to know who's in this. So I'm going to ask for the names of the team members. It's a short answer question and it is required. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new section, which you do by going to the sign that looks like equals there. Now we have a new section and I'm going to call this new section lock number one. And my description, correct response will get you out of this room. I'm going to add a question, which is going to be a short answer question. Short answer. And my question is, what 30 hour course? That's my question. And I'm going to add a hint here. So I'm going to click on these dots, add description. And while I'm on these three dots, the next thing I do is ensure that response validation is checked. You'll see why in a minute. So my description is going to be a hint. That it's two words and each one starts with a capital because you have to be very sure that the capitals and small letters and everything is written exactly the way you're going to tell them to write it because you're going to have the response validation here. So what we not want is not a number, it's a text. This is what opened because I clicked on response validation. I want a text and I'm going to put the answer here. It's got to be blended learning exactly as it's written here, which is why I wrote two words. Each starts with a capital letter. And then I give my custom text, which is what they will see if they do not answer it correctly. I make this a required question. And I go to my next question which needs a new section. Section number two will be lock number two. Not lock number two, lock number two. And I'm going to say 
in the description answer the question to escape the escape room and I'm adding my second question. The second question here, how can students do group work on Zoom? Control C, I am popping it in here. Again, it's a short answer question. There are the two things that I wanna click here, description and response validation. The description for this, is the hint that I'm going to give. Hint, two words, all caps. It's going to be like that. So I'm copying that, control C. The, the short answer is, again, a text. And it contains these words. And my custom error here will be And again, be sure to make it This one I'm adding a video to. So I click here and I copied the video from here and paste it in. And then I add the question like I did the previous ones. Now this one it was a little bit more complicated. This one is going to be done with a multiple choice grid. And I have match up the terms and definition for teaching methods. These are my rows. These are my columns, and the columns I want with the letters. Don't need that, don't need that. Doing it this way is what is going to make it look like that. The next part to this question, they require a response in each row. The next part to the question is write the answers of the letters above for the code to open this lock. So the answer here, this is where we do description, response validation. The description is no spaces or commas in between. The answer will be text. And the answer here is DBCA. D B C A. Custom text required. Our last question, I'm going to add a section. This is... So for lock seven, I've, I need to add this picture. This picture I've saved on my computer. In order to add it, I go to add image and I upload. I put it in my temporary in escape room and there we go. 
and the question is using the code key above write the secret message hidden here and I'm adding description response validation the description is use all caps and the answer is text of course you can also have number of answers it just didn't work out this time and this is the secret message here all right and it's required and now let's see what we have surviving as new teacher and here we have 30 hour course how can students do work on zoom On purpose, I'm not writing it with a capital letter. See, ah, oh, try again. And then two words, all caps, ah. There we go. When I want to use this as a template and share it with other colleagues, or even use this as a template so I don't have to build the whole thing again, but I can just change the content. I do the following. I make a copy, first of all, and on that copy, I add collaborators and write Anyone with the link can edit. That's stage one. Stage two is I go to my Sir Links a Lot button here. And if you don't know how to use that, I will insert a tutorial for you. I click on template and I click on copy link to clipboard and now I paste the link here and I have a template of this Google form I can share with my colleagues they use it as a template they can use it as is or they can change the content and that's all there you go uh, escape room of your very own. Hope you like this. Don't forget to subscribe.